Two game designers decided to play my game and record their experience to give me feedback on my local multiplayer game Dashpon. Surprise! No! No! I'm gonna destroy you in this game, by the way. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. It has already been played during live streams and in a video by Stumped, and each time it was super positive. I'm super excited to hear what they have to say. Okay, so without further ado, let's see what they have to say. All right, let's go. Okay. Boom. Okay. Okay, I'm just moving around with the analog. The ball. How'd you get? Wait, wait. Whoa. Oh. Okay, I'm pressing A to create the paddle. Oh my god. Oh, I get it. That's no! the first goal. It's it's really cool to see the first goal and to see how easy it is for them to understand what the controls are. Basically, you just move around with the stick and hit whatever key you want on the gamepad to dash. Attack. Is there a dash button? Oh, I suck at this. <gasps> okay, here you go. I oh! That was the first save. Uh, saving with a paddle is, uh, is super, super exciting. I'm gonna destroy you in this game, by the way. Yeah. <gasps> no! No! <laughs> what are you saying at me? Four. You beat me the first time, Ahmed. Oh my god. <laughs> I, guess, I guess one of them is, is better than the other, right? Scoring against yourself is so common. Surprise! In this mode, it's like kind of luck on how you're gonna score. No, no, it's not luck. You're just, you're just inexperienced. It's not about luck. Yes, it, it's experience for sure. Ooh, I'm Let's so go. good. You, by the way, you have no chance. That's the way you're gonna win. Go. What is this? Look at this. Oh! <laughs> this is exactly the excitement Spin that I want up, to see. Whatever that means. Oh! I, I didn't that was a nice ricochet. That was a nice one. <laughs> I love the sunglasses. Listen, we don't got much time. We're gonna do chaos mode, so we get the taste of everything. This is a amazing, nice way, by the way. I like it. Let's go. Now, because we picked chaos, the mode's gonna change. Portals will teleport the. Go. Oh, this is sick. Okay. Huh? Oh, really on the map? No restriction. <laughs> oh, oh my oh. god. Oh no! No! Man, I, I, the, my reactions are genuine. It's a lot of fun. It feels really good to score a goal. From from what I'm seeing, they enjoyed the game really much. Uh, and as a developer, it's like it's the best feeling that you can have when the player is enjoying what you created. So I'm really glad. And now let's let's hear what they have to say for feedback. Absolutely loved the game. It was so much fun. Oh yeah, I Got really started with the first impressions. Had a blast. Honestly, it's a lot of fun. It's been a long time since I saw a party game where I thought I, I'd buy this. I'd love to have people over and play with them. Especially during these unprecedented times. Wow, this is so cool. Uh, I saw them having fun during the play session, but hearing them saying that it was a lot of fun feels so good. I, I love it. This is my only piece of feedback for the controls. As player two, to join the game, I expect A or start will let me join the game. And none of them do. Yes, there are controls in the bottom right. I get it. Okay, it says X is to join, A is to ready, and then B is to back. I don't know why it's three different buttons, so it's a little confusing. I get the idea here. I did that initially to make sure that going back was different than being ready or not, uh, but I guess it's too complicated. What I'll do is A to join, A again to ready, and B to unready, and B again to go back. And if you're P1 and have control of the UI, it goes back to the preview screen. The, the controls are very elegant, very simple. You just move with the analog stick, press A or R to dash. It's depending on how you like to play. And dashing also creates the paddle. They just decided to simplify the design and make it one, and I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad they like the controls. It's one of the greatest strengths about dash pong. It's quite easy to pick up, but hard to master in a way. So the main thing for the gameplay for me in terms of clarity was I couldn't tell if I had paddles left or not. You, you only need to know really when you have no paddles left. Oh yeah, that's totally fair. Uh, before that, I had three dots under the player to show how many paddles you had left, but people couldn't see them really well. So I think I agree with you. I'm going to go with full glow when you have paddles available and no glow at all when you don't have any paddles. I think I'll also add some small particles to show you when you gain a paddle back. So right now the paddles expire over time but it's not really clear when the paddle is about to expire and get destroyed. See, it's easy to miss that kind of things when you've been working on a game for so long. So I'm used to the blinking, so for me it's easy to see, but I guess for a new player, there's so many things on the screen, it can be hard to read when a paddle is going to explode. So I agree I'm going to make the blinking way more powerful. The game is incredibly high, Yeah. okay? And 
when does it get the most exciting? When you're about to lose, or if the score is 4-4. Mm -hmm. So when a player has four goals out of five and he's about to win, the, the game should announce that and say match point. Something to let you know it's getting a little exciting. Right, right, right. I have nothing more to say. I don't know why I didn't think of it. It makes total sense. In my latest devlog, I told you I added messages in game. And so this is something that I'm going to add for sure. I'm going to make sure to add lots of stuff to create tension at that moment. I think we should use a no boundary mode instead of the regular one. I, I agree with him. I agree with him. No boundary was a lot of fun. I would have to play that on 2v2 to be sure, because how amazing would it be? You have an attacker and a defender, you can yeah. make some strategy. So um, I get the feeling, but I think it goes against the idea of Dashpong. Uh, based on my vision and on the playtest that I did, if you remove the boundary, you use way less paddles because you're always just rushing to the ball. The gameplay is very different when there's no boundary and I think it's less interesting. It becomes really easily to score. Also, if you're better at handling the ball directly, I think you just crush your opponent. So it's harder for people to get into the game. But that's the cool thing about the special modes. If there's one that you prefer, you can just play this one and enjoy the game how you like it. I totally agree on the 2v2 though, uh, and that's how I imagined this mode originally. Having someone more like in defense and another one that could be in attack, it feels like it can be a ton of fun. Right now, there are so many chaos modes and the quality of the different modes is not equal. Some modes are way better than other modes, right? And I prefer fewer modes of higher quality than lots of modes where some are kind of like uh, underwhelming. So my goal with the special mode was not to restrict myself when coming up with ideas. So I totally agree with your feeling. Uh, some are way better than others. I needed to test them though to know if they were good or not. So now that I have some feedback, I will go through them and remove the ones that are not interesting and maybe try to make the other ones a bit better. So for UI UX, I have, like honestly, we said it was amazing. Like the menus are extremely clear it's so easy to get where you want to go i'm so pleased you find the ui good because i really wanted to make uh, something simple for the player i personally hate it when you land in a game and there's stuff everywhere and you don't know where to click i would love for the vfx to react more to the situations grinding against your paddle or like uh, hitting your paddle gently versus hitting it intensely i'd love to see a trail I spent a lot of time on the goal effects to make it very satisfying, but I think I forgot a bit the normal interactions. So I need to make the player, paddle and both interactions more interesting. And I already have some ideas for that. Look, the music is fine. It's, but if I were to summarize it in one word, I'd say generic. If anything, it should ramp up on the match point. Uh, for the music, I don't have much to say. Uh, it's something I didn't really work on until now. So I know there's some work to do here and I'll definitely put some more energetic music inside the game. If you're a musician and you're interested to do music for Dashpong, uh, please hit me up. Okay, so from here, they discuss ideas to take Dashpong further, such as power-ups, new special modes, etc. I might be working on some of these, so I don't want to spoil anything. Thing. Go watch their video to see what they have to say though, it's super interesting. So overall, I'm really, really pleased with this experience. I think they really enjoyed the game and they gave me some really good feedback. So thanks again for your work and for the feedback that you gave me. It's going to be super useful and I'm already working on it right now. So stay tuned for the next devlog where I'll show everything that I worked on and also some new cool stuff. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, wishlist Dashpong and go watch the Let's Play Test channel. Bye!